So I get asked, why are spoons so effective through the ice for game fish? Well, if history proves itself, we do know the number one lure of all time to catch walleyes and perch through the ice are spoons. I'm thinking Swedish Pimple, Castmaster Spoons, all the great spoons. They are the purest category for catching walleyes and perch under the ice. Now, why is a spoon so effective? Spoons are effective because they imitate an injured bait fish, an injured minnow. Uh, spoons attract fish from the greatest distance far away. We're ice fishing, we're pretty much set up for the, the, for the afternoon. We've got to attract fish from far away. Um, spoons will do that, you know, not so much with the plastic swim bait. It's real hard with a hard bait to attract fish, but you get that flash, whether it's a metallic flash or a glow-in-the-dark flash of a spoon, it brings them in and we've got a one-two punch. Most states you can use multiple lines. Uh, Minnesota, for instance, you can use two lines. We've got our set line down here, either a rattle reel or a bobber rod, and uh, we've got a beautiful, you know, four-inch sucker minnow on that rod or shiner, and we're bringing them in with the one-two punch with our spoons. And we're gathering them from far away. If they're aggressive, boom, they're gonna come up and hit your spoon, whether it's a leech spoon or a, you know, rattling blade spoon or, or whatever it be. Uh, if they're a passive fish, a passive walleye comes in, they're going to go over to your bobber rod and take up that, that four inch sucker minnow. So it really works together and you know it's kind of interesting in Minnesota they say you can have two lines down in, in the regulation book. They really should say you should have one set line with a minnow on and you should have a spoon with some meat or live bait on the other. So. It's, it's kind of funny, but that's how we do it. That's how we approach walleye fishing. Whether you're going to Leech, to Red, to Lake of the Woods, to Wa Bay, Devil's Lake, we're fishing spoons with meat. And that, that's the big deal with spoons. They are the bait delivery device. So walleyes and perch cannot turn down a minnow head, a full minnow, or even, even a minnow tail. Um, what I like to do, I keep three rods rigged up at all times. If you want to catch more fish, have several spoon rods rigged up. Again, um, I'm rigging them up with a pinhead minnow, and I'll put a minnow head on there. The pinhead minnow is a, is a, a do-nothing uh, spoon that's just got a nice slender profile, little flicker tail on the bottom. Gets down there, pound it down. Um, if that doesn't work, you know, maybe the line on your Vexilar, the fish comes up a couple times, it doesn't work, reel up right away, grab your other rod out of the rod holder that's pre-rigged with a full minnow, and maybe a, maybe a leech spoon on there, and you would be surprised, you drop back down. Sometimes that different profile, the different action, we're going with the full-size minnow before we had a minnow head on, you can often trigger a lot of fish that wouldn't otherwise come on. So go spoon in this winter and catch more walleyes and perch under the ice. Clam Outdoors, pursue the ice.